This is Heath Mulliken with the Techology Show. I'm here with Jeremy Summers, the Director of Adult Ministries uh, for the Wesleyan Church, and Matt Leroy, who is the co-pastor of Love Chapel Hill in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And I'm here to ask them about their new book, Awakening Grace, which comes out in August. And I want to ask you, Matt, uh, you guys have wrote a book together before. What was uh, your inspiration and kind of the beginnings of putting this book together? Yeah, when we were thinking about kind of the spiritual practices uh, of the faith, a lot of times I think people see it as a discipline that you have to master. So to become a better Christian, you've got to um, become better at prayer or, or kind of master scripture reading, these kinds, of, these kinds of things. And for us, as we thought about it, we feel like actually it's, it's a little bit of shift from that. And it's, it's not mastering something, but it's submitting yourself to something. And so rather than mastering a discipline, it is submitting yourself to the grace of God that is at work in these practices and alive in these practices. And so that's what the book does. Is It looks at several of the ancient and innovative practices of the church. Um, but through that framework of submitting to grace um, and that grace awakening in your soul rather than being something that you become a master of. Uh, now, like I said, you guys have written a book together before. Uh, Jeremy, what are some of the pros and cons uh, of writing a book uh, together? Yeah, I would say uh, with this book in particular, uh, probably one of the cons was that the proximity. We weren't close together, and so um, and so we had to work uh, via phone or email, and so that was a little difficult for us. Um, first project we did together, um, we were basically neighbors, and so it was great just to hang out and physically, like, uh, share ideas, and um, so th that would probably be a major con. I think the pro, though, with it is the collaborative, uh, the collaboration between um, the two of us. I think bringing ideas together, bringing different contexts, ideas, research, and just more of a holistic perspective on a topic. Um, and so ironing those out and really fleshing that out um, locally um, as well as individually and corporately, um, I think helps um, when you work together on a project. So let me ask you both real quick, what, what's your prayer for this book, for how it impacts uh, the individual in the local church context? Yeah, um, that people would be, uh, just to understand that, that God is drawing us in, that God's grace is alive in us and at work in these practices, um, and is wanting to um, shape us in that. And we really do think that, um, especially in the local church, Jeremy is immersed in working with local churches across the denomination, and I get to be um, on the ground in, in a local church context. And we're seeing that as, as people do submit themselves to these graces, um, God's, transform, God's transformative power um, just completely shapes them into the image of his son, and that, that's what discipleship is about for us. So. Jeremy, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think uh, along those lines, this idea that that really the the disciplines, um, these practices, really do awaken the soul and reveals uh, really what God wants for us, and that is to be um, in relationship with Him, but not just as individuals, but um, um, with each other. And so I think these uh, what you'll see in this book is that uh, they are individual practices at times, but there's also a corporate element that are, is required based on how uh, we're formed. Um, as people, and so I think it's a beautiful relationship between us and God, and us and in friendships with with others. So, like I said, the book is Awakening Grace. It comes out later this summer, and you can pre-order or order your copy at wphonline.com. I want to thank Matt and Jeremy for joining us, and we hope this thing sells like hotcakes. So, this is Heath Mulligan signing off for the Techology Show. Oklahoma Wesleyan University, a great education, endless activities, and a thriving spiritual atmosphere. We are one of six colleges and universities in the state of Oklahoma to earn a spot on the prestigious list of America's best colleges and universities. We're not only committed to helping you grow academically, but we also want to help you grow spiritually. We would love to show you around our beautiful campus so you can see what truly makes this a university where Jesus is Lord every day. 